The Serpentine Annual Architecture Commission, our pavilion, started in 2000 with Zaha Hadid. And since then, it's been an annual commission where we've invited the great architects internationally, who at the time of our invitation have not completed a building in England, to design a pavilion for us that we install on our lawn. It's one of the four strands of our programs, exhibitions, architecture, education and public programs. And it has now achieved worldwide renown to the degree that last year in the art newspaper, they nominated it as number four in the what they call design exhibitions, best attended exhibitions, design exhibitions globally. Every summer, it's a new Serpentine. We have basically Serpentine 1, which is uh, the Serpentine Gallery all year long, and then we have Serpentine 2, which is our new wing every summer for 100 days. We believe at the Serpentine that the best way to exhibit architecture and actually contribute to the debate of architecture is to offer the opportunity and possibility to experience architecture firsthand. Each summer, this is a new situation. It's almost like a, a second Serpentine, one can say. Uh, we can really mix the disciplines and bring things together which maybe otherwise would not come together. Architecture with no walls will allow everybody to come in, come out from all around, which can give the definition of freedom, like park. This is one thing that uh, we wanted to achieve. It's very uh, honored for us to be a part of this continuity, and maybe also the, this continuity make some big power to the also the I hope that to the architectural history. It is something of a, a, a sort of heroic endeavor I would say on, on everybody's part and every year we learn a huge amount from the undertaking. Before the ground was broken it was just it was just a serpentine lawn so so there's you know absolutely nothing but a lawn with a with a gravel path going through. The initial um, part of it, we, we obviously put the hoarding around and, and prepare it, set it up as a site. We started by doing the reduced dig so we could get the, the slab in which is, makes up the floor and get the foundation um, in the beautiful curved shape you can see, which isn't the sort of average job for a normal ground working company. The columns and the roof are part of the same sort of erection process. In order to get the roof up, um, a scaffold was erected. It was done in about seven or eight sections, the roof. And once we had a zone in place, which would be sort of about maybe 10 to 20 roof sections, that would all then be screwed in together and fixed to the columns, so it would be one complete area finished. Although the SANA um, concept was to have a, a uniform um, piece of aluminium, which looked like it was part of, this, part of the same sheet of aluminium. To make it buildable, we had to make it up of, of individual roof sections, um, which were about three to three by two meters um, in size. The brief that the gallery sets is, is, is similar year on year, and I think it becomes perhaps more difficult each year for the chosen architect to have a unique take on that brief. And I think that um, uh, the gallery uh, quite consciously chooses architects that like to push the boundaries, like to be experimental. As engineers, um, working with both parties to try and reconcile that into the best built form is a, um, is a key part of our challenge. I think the buildings are always very interesting because they're a combination of art and architecture and usable structure at the end of the day. And each one has a, a different twist. The challenge is how do you interpret the brief differently enough to make it interesting year after year after year. And this is a very different interpretation from previous years and has worked stunningly well. Every year uh, that the pavilion is built, it, it is so new and dynamic and seems to be appropriate for the time. And I would say, you know, this year, in particular with the architects that they've chosen uh, and the space that they've designed, it is, it's so wonderfully fresh and open to the elements and light. So there were wonderful qualities about last year's pavilion. I think for the times, this year's pavilion is going to be pretty extraordinary. Cedric Price always said that uh, the, uh, the worst thing about uh, art institutions or institutions at large is that they think they're going to last forever. Now, obviously, the pavilion is a great invention. It's, it's obviously the architecture commission. It is about architecture, but it's much more than that. It is also 
an invention basically of a model how a 21st uh, century institution can produce in a dynamic way.